you better be doing the right thing. Doria? What are you doing in my house? Why are you here? All right, with everything that is going on, I just had to check on you and make sure you were all right. Oh. Oh, well, thank you. That's very nice. Um, what were you just saying about the right thing? <clears throat> I ran into Charlie a few minutes ago, and, um, we had it out. Had it out? Mm-hmm. About what? But the way that Charlie's been behaving, I just felt I had to take a stand. On what? Well, with everything that is going on, I, I wanted to find out why he hasn't been at your side, where he is supposed to be. <sighs> Look, Dorian, frankly, I haven't made that very easy for him, okay? I've been off dealing with Clint and the lawyers and all this business about Jessica's baby. He's your husband. He's supposed to be supporting you. I know, but, you know, he's got his own problems. Finding out Rex was not his son was an awful blow to him. And frankly, I, I, I don't want to burden him with my own family drama. Burden him? As I said, he's your husband, for better, for worse, richer, for poorer. You know, it just occurred to me that maybe Charlie wants to feel needed. Dorian, I think you've got a point. I mean, I've been trying to shield Charlie, so he probably does feel that I'm excluding him the way he excluded me when he found out about Rex and went off by himself. I suggest you not make it so easy for him to shut down and shut you out this time. Uh, yeah, he didn't turn to drinking then, so he probably won't go to alcohol this time either. He's an alcoholic. There are other things he can turn to besides alcohol. This situation with Jessica, oh, I should say Tess, is not just gonna go away. Well, I know that, don't I? Problem is we've gotta come up with a, a new strategy to deal with Robert Ford. He was all ready to have her committed. I know he was. I don't know how, but somehow she talked him out of it. Vicky, you have got to involve Charlie in the solution. Otherwise, he's going to go somewhere else where he feels he is needed. Echo. That alley cat's just waiting to pounce. Yes, I know, and she's tried, but it hasn't worked, has it? How do you know? <laughs> because I trust Charlie. I know that, but should you? Charlie. Why do you keep insinuating that I shouldn't believe in Charlie? I'd better be going. And Charlie will be home soon. Home from where? Well, if you must know. He's gone. Excuse me. Hang on one second. Right. Oh. Natalie. Hi, darling. Where are you? I'm at the hospital. I thought somebody was going to call you. Who? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, I'll be right there. What is it? It's God. Mom, I will wait for you here at the hospital, okay? But no one's telling me anything. I don't know what's going on. Mom, I, I think maybe, maybe you should hurry. Nash, he always had such great taste. Which is more than I can say for the women of this house. Hopefully I can find something to do with this junk. Good oh. morning. Oh, good. Ah, did you do it? Yes, it's over. I told Echo I wouldn't see her again. Good, because now Vicky needs you more than ever. Okay, I did it, all right? You got what you wanted. Now get the hell out of my house. Gladly. Going? 
Uh, Mom, I really shouldn't have let you take us home. You know, darling, I have a feeling that Taya and Danielle wanted to have a little time alone. Besides, my first responsibility is to my own daughter. <laughs> I don't care how grown up she is. Thank you. <laughs> I do feel a lot more secure when you're here. Oh, Liam, Mama's not got a hang of the whole Mama thing yet, oh. but just bear with me, okay? Uh, I guess I should go get him fed and put him down. Okay, come on, honey. Why did you come back? I told Dorian that it was over between us. I figured. So you didn't have to... I also told her that I would never see you again. So, I guess I lied. This come from. Oh, I can't. Echo, I can't. I can't just let you go. What do we do now? We'll figure something out. All I know is I won't stay away from you. 